Ladies and gentlemen, here we have irony. No, we don't have to respect any opinions. Yours make little sense. Basically, this video, I reacted to other YouTubers' opinions of who's winning the flag and who's finishing where, right? How you think your team will do, etc. And I said throughout the video that even though I disagreed with a lot of predictions, you got to respect other people's opinions. And I stand by that. I know that's ironic as well because of this series, but I, I stand by that, all right? I, I respected everyone's opinions in there. And he's like, we don't have to respect any opinions. And then he's like, I can tell you why Briz won't win the flag. Because 99% of YouTube nuffies think they will. This is coming from a Richmond fan who clearly thinks they will do great. They have not made the eight. Meanwhile, the Lions are looking down at a home qualifying final. If they beat St Kilda, which is a great position for them, unbeaten at the Gabba, and they have a shot at getting to the grand final, only playing at the Gabba. So even if they don't win the flag, they've actually at least given themselves a chance. Meanwhile, this guy's team are nowhere to be seen, not even ninth. It looks like your opinions also did not make sense, metal lewd. What's on earth is metal lewd anyway? That, that, that sounds like a very strange material that certain people use five times. Richmond being top four is reasonable. No, it's not. Gold Coast be pushing for the eight. No, they won't. Wouldn't put it past a Collingwood drop off. Well, you should put that past you. St Kilda are straight up terrible bottom four for mine. You had four howlers there, mate. It's Bunning Snag as well. Of course it's Bunning Snag. I'm putting another 10 on, 10 on that. What, what on earth? Yeah, sorry, dude. Hawks for the spoon. Look who's sorry now. Look who's sorry now. The cool coconut, that's who's sorry. Not just the cool coconuts. 4,453 cool coconuts. You're not so cool anymore, coconuts. Poor in the bottom 10. I mean, he's pessimistic as his own, his own team, so I'll let him off. Gold Coast, mm, Richmond in the same category as Brisbane, bullying their way to the grand final. Adelaide shocking everyone and shooting into the finals that they did in 2012. Ah, uh, maybe they could have if it wasn't for umpires, but uh, ah, actually, A for umpires, you just made the list. Cool coconut, you're on the list five times, just for that Hawthorne comment. I remember this, someone, to be fair, like, you think it can't get worse, someone last year, 2022, predicted the Crows to win the Premiership, beating Melbourne in the Grand Final. 2022. It can always get worse, my friends. It can always get worse. You know what? Fair enough. I'm starting to see more and more of an explanation why Richmond put... People put Richmond in the top four. But it's still wrong. Richmond just made the list for giving everyone false hope. Probably won a ton of close games last year. You cannot rely on an outcome every year. Winning close games really only means you're as good as you have a team on the day, but you got lucky in further the line. Collingwood didn't smash it a lot of teams last year. Richmond lost a lot of close games. Richmond also smashed a lot of teams last year. Something to ponder. Uh, well, if it happens so often, eventually it's not luck. And uh, as you can see, they are first with one of the best percentages. Only one team has got a higher one. So I think that says quite a lot, considering they've lost, you know, three of the, two of those losses came recently. Two or three of those losses came recently. They were very good. Um, up to like a certain point, they lost like twice, one to Brisbane at the Gabba. And the other one uh, was to Melbourne. It was to yeah Melbourne and Carlton who hate who both hated Collingwood. So like you know to do that well with a high percentage, um, I wouldn't say that is luck. But it was not stupid. It's at least four outs. But it feels like you're suggesting here that Richmond had a better season than Collingwood. But th 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 there's nothing there. Um, you're not on the list though. I was going to put you on the list, but uh, you're not. I'll, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. The hate is strong with this one. It's Metal Lude again. What did you say like a few comments ago? Well, get out of here. Even with Hopper and Taranto, I swear that's spelled wrong. You expect them, you expect them us. What? You expect them us. You expect them us to be ninth. This is Richmond, by the way. It is Richmond. I put them ninth. I remember this. Um, well, I put them ninth, and that was actually nice, because you were worse than ninth. So, if anything, you should be thanking me for complimenting you, because if anything, I said you were better than you actually are. So, take that. I wouldn't be surprised Richmond makes top four, as well as dropping out. So much Richmond love here. So much! So much of it! Maybe this is why everyone thinks I'm a Carlton fan. I'm not a Carlton fan, but half my subs think I'm a Carlton fan. Maybe because maybe people think I hate, I hate Richmond. I don't know. 
I don't, I, I don't like Collingwood. People think I hate Richmond. I don't hate Richmond. I just criticise them quite a lot. So everyone thinks, oh, this guy must support Carlton. I'm a Hawthorne fan, through and through. And we're very bad, so let me laugh at someone. As a North supporter, six to eight wins. I'm not gonna put you on the list, but I'm, I'm sorry about that, mate. It's, I'm sorry you had so much hope. Um, the Bulldogs are now a bottom eight team. I mean, obviously they're sitting ninth, but bottom eight, come on now. Come on, Billy 75. I feel like the, the second word is like an insult or something. It sounds like one. You just made the list, just the once. Never write off Geelong, write off, write off. He's written the wrong right. You see, I was gonna let you off, but that spelling has got to put you on the list, all right? We cannot, dis we cannot allow good, ga good grammar. We can only let it off for so long, okay? Because it's, it's not good. It's, it's not good at all. And for that reason, Pratty8459, you just made the list. I've not even gotten to the shorts comments or the tipping comments. We're gonna have like 18 episodes or something.